Welcome to this video. So I played like 10 games today and my rating virtually remained the same. So maybe this is the first sign that uh, a rating of roughly 2050 to 2100 is my my blitz rating here on the server. Um, we will see. I think at least a hundred games I need to play to to um, to have a better feeling about the rating. Mm. So I'm pawn down, but this is often the case in, in in similar variations also of the Queen's Gambit accepted or the Slav defense. In return, I have a nice central uh, influence, and here you can see that there are no pieces at the at the king side, so sometimes I might run a nice attack here. So the knight maybe coming to e4 would be good. Can also try to move a rook over here and then to sacrifice somehow on h6. The whole idea, I think, at least to, to my understanding, is to put pressure here on the on the king side. So saying, I don't care what you do here on the on the queen side, I will attack you with everything I have. And let's try. Queen C1 maybe? Huh. That's interesting. So what if I play G4? Nah. But I can just take here. He needs to take with the queen. Well, e5, my rook is hanging. But I take with the pawn attacking his queen. Ooh, what a strange position. Um, What's going on? Hmm. Maybe rook d5 would also be an idea. So, what do I have? Queen e6. He maybe he just plays queen f6. Yeah. Hmm. Two bishops. Let's see how. Uh, how they work together. Taking on b5 now is the next move. Huh. Okay.
at least a little bit of little bit of play maybe f5 ah he can play queen to d4 check <laughs> just picking up my bishop he doesn't want the bishop Yeah, he wants knight d4. <laughs> this is so bad. I mean, I, I can, it doesn't make sense. I just, you know, I wanted to play something like this, attacking his rook, maybe hoping that he doesn't see it. This is ridiculous. It's a, directly a mate here. Knight f3. Okay. No, why doesn't he mate me? Okay, if he takes here, maybe I have. Uh. Ah, no. Okay, thanks for watching.